So the Giant Walk Your Brain is a science communication project, uh, a project that brings together anatomy, um, education, and basically combines it with um, stage performance, live stage performance. There's a story uh, about different areas of the brain. There are always interesting facts about the brain that came from uh, historical accidents that have been studied. And uh, that's how we got to know about the brain for a long time. And uh, somebody like Jay Ingram is the best guy to actually tell these stories. Welcome to the giant walk through brain. Please check your tickets, make sure you're on the No Illusions ride. That's this one. It is our most spectacular ride. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. And the idea is that if you're in the audience, you're on a tour, like a bus tour, but you're touring through the human brain and you're stomping at various places that are interesting parts of the brain and usually have associated with them some personality, some personage from the past who had a brain issue from which we learned a lot. So you meet interesting people, you see interesting parts of the brain, you're all over the brain, and you're experiencing it and learning it in a very subtle way. And all of this is accompanied by original music. What I think is great about it is it's stunning in terms of its visuals. Uh, they've done an incredible job of making this creative giant walk through brain idea come to life. Um, but on top of that, Jay can be really entertaining. He, he's engaging with the audience. He, he makes jokes, he makes them laugh. We try and interact, he tries to interact with the band a little bit too. So that's engaging as well. But then on top of that, we've got live music. And so what, what's not cool about live music? Jay's storytelling is actually very powerful. Um, he really puts the right emotions into his speeches whenever he talks. So he talks about Phineas Gage and um, the whole aspect of that is it's crazy. You get a pipe um, through your skull and you still survive and you become a different person. And then you have Auguste de Terre who had Alzheimer's and he takes on a sadder, quieter tone. And then the music is sadder and quieter. And the way I move around with the brain is also sort of slowly paced and so on. And that really helps set the mood with all of those um, individuals that we discuss. And it really helps um, I don't know, tie everything together and really get all the people there feeling like they're part of this experience. It's all got to be personal so that in every segment of the show, no matter what part of the brain we've been to, I think we need people to be thinking, what would that be like for me? And if we can do that, and we have an opportunity to do that because we all have a brain and we're actually that's the beauty of being inside it or physically exploring it as you might explore a cave. And yet it has all of these qualities that pertain as much to you as they do to me. You know, we're not trying to teach people about the brain. We're simply trying to show them what the brain is like. And if, you know, if you're not, simply not interested in the brain, well, in some ways you're not interested in yourself. Thanks a lot. I'm Jay Ingram. Bye-bye.